the cockpit the cockpit's going to take some time so i've jumped ahead in the instructions and what i've done is i've put on bits on the top and closed the hatches um built the all the landing gear um and and they are smart it is really good detail but it is this horrible sparkly gray they try and make it look metallic but it's not it's gray with sparkles and it does make it look cheap and horrible i'm sure it's going to look better um in a minute when i put the primer on so yeah i've just blue tacked up the glue points so i don't have to scrape the glue off later and uh yeah let's put some primer on well with the grey primer on we've lost the horrible cheap looking uh, sparkly finish and we can see the detail properly and uh, so everything things now looking far more Star Warsy, isn't it? So I'm pleased with that. So next step is to give everything a coat of Citadel's lead belcher which is a dark metallic, as you can see there, um, which is not at all the color the, the Razor Crest is, but um, that's a much better basis for dry brushing the silvers I'll be using um, over it than try putting silvers over gray. So I'm gonna come back once it's had a coat of that. Really starting to look the part now. So there we go. Um, that's that what i'm next going to be doing is dry brushing it it looks almost done here because the light's bright today it looks a lot brighter than it actually is it's not it's it's it is darker it's more like that you see so next thing is to start dry brushing i'm going to be using iron breaker first to lighten it up but mainly it's going to be storm host silver is pretty much what I want. So I'm going to be using both of those um, and occasionally, because I don't want it all one colour, I, I, I want separate panels. Um, and so I'm going to use those two lighter colours, but some of it I've got in pot form, this colour I've got in pot form. I'll be mixing with that to give me more than two shades uh, to dry brush. So I'm going to get out my dry brush and start dry brushing. Well, first up, apologies if I've been repeating myself. I've been listening back to the other parts of this and I'd forgotten that I had said something before, so I've said it again. So, yeah, sorry about that. I'll try not to do that again. Um, bit of a rethink here in that I thought what I would be doing is something similar to what I did um, with this repaint I did of the Eagle Moss and Stromo, which is put in lots of different colored panels before uh, putting the dark washes on, all right? But I watched two or three episodes of The Mandalorian last night, which had the uh, razor crest in it quite a bit and, and looked at it. And it, and it seemed to me that um, the whole ship is basically one color. The, uh, the variation um, in, in panels and that is just to the, the degree of uh, mottling left by the weathering. So um, all I've done here is taken that mid silver and uh, very heavily dry brushed all over. I left out some areas like down in there, uh, the cannon tips and the undercarriage, which is here, that's the front one. All right, I've, I've already put a, a coat of Nuln Oil on that. So that's why that's so much darker. And then I had the brightest silver um, and uh, dry brushed over the mid silver, um, holding off and leaving it and mottling it. Well, not mottling, but, you know, dry brushing on, but not thoroughly. That's why you get patchiness already. Okay, I think that's going to help. So, yeah, the, the next step then is uh, to take this get a watery wash of known oil and start dabbing off. All right. I, I, I took a couple of crude screenshots with my camera by pausing Disney plus. I, I really wish they would, you know, pr um, bring out, you know, uh, books with uh, still shots, screen grabs in them 
um, but there isn't. So um, there is an area which will be just down in here, which is very heavily scored. Uh, I'm going to try and recreate, but I'm not going to go into specific. Oh, there's a blotch that's bigger here than there, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing next. I don't think I said, but I've, um, I've decided to do everything in sub-assemblies. The paint job's not even, far from it. So it's not like I, I would have to be careful because when I put them together that everything matches, right? So everything is going to be in sub-assemblies right up until, well, until after I've applied the, uh, the decals. So here we go. This is first pass on the weathering. What this is, is um, known oil heavily watered down. And what I've done is I've just uh, um, dabbed it on and uh, and most of the time I've let it dry. I mean, you can see in a couple of places where I've um, dabbed it off where it was a bit too thick. Um, so I'm just letting this go off and dry properly. But that's quite nice. It's given me a modeling effect. Um, there's some areas that I saw when watching the, uh, the episodes like that area there that are a lot darker so once this is dry and it's not dry yet um, I'm going to go in with a, a stronger concentration of known oil and uh, start darkening areas down all right but uh, so far so good I'm, I'm, I'm liking what's happening